A warm welcome from Team 62. This is Madhvik Chauhan, the team leader, and I am going to present the GUI of the CPU scheduling algorithm. So this is the front front page of all the scheduling algorithms, right from FCFS till HRRN. Now starting with FCFS, FCFS algorithm takes care that the process which arrives first will be executed first. Now taking down the values. So as you can see, this is the completion time, turnaround time, and waiting time of all the processes. And below, it's the Gantt chart having process ID on the top and timer on the downside. Coming to SJF, in this algorithm, the process having minimal or short burst time will be executed first. Now, taking down the values. For example, arrival time zero, burst time two. So as you can see, process P two. Is getting executed first, having minimal burst time. Now talking about the SRTF algorithm, in which it's a preemptive version of SJF, where contact contact switch takes place between the two process, putting down the values. For example. So it is the preemptive version. This is the completion time, turnaround time, and waiting time of all the process. And below it's the gun chart. Now talking about the priority preemptive. As the name is mentioned, the ones having higher priority will be scheduled first. But as it is a preemptive version, context which will take place. Now putting down the values. So as you can see, the process are been scheduled as per the gun chart given below, and completion time, turnaround time, and waiting time are allocated. Now, prime priority non preemptive. In this, the process which having which are having higher priority are allocated first, and they are uh, executed till its completion. Taking down the values. Means two, four, three, three, one. So as you can see, till the process one is not completed, it is in executed. Same for two, 
थ्री एंड फोर सो दैट्स द नॉन प्रियमटिव वर्जन इन प्रायोरिटी शेड्यूलिंग एल्कोलिज्म इन लॉन्गेस्ट जॉब फर्स्ट इट इज जस्ट ऑपोजिट ऑफ शॉर्टेस्ट जॉब फर्स्ट इन दिस द प्रोसेस हैविंग हाइएस्ट बर्स्ट टाइम विल बी एलोकेटेड फर्स्ट एंड इन द नॉन प्रियमटिव वर्जन टेकिंग डाउन द वैल्यूज So as you can see, process P five is scheduled before P three and P four. That means the P five process P five was having highest burst time, so it was scheduled first. That means before P three and P four. Now coming to LRTF, this is the preemptive version of LJF, longest job first. In this, the process is executed according to the longest job but at the same time context which takes place between two processes so here it's the preemptive version of lrtf process 1 was preempted at after 1 second same for 2 4 and 5 and likewise all the process are executed here it's the completion time turnaround time and waiting time for all the processes now coming towards round robin algorithm in this algorithm process is implemented for a decided time quantum after that the process will be context switched and other process will get a chance or will get its turn to be executed so here the problem of convoy effect or bounded waiting is minimized entering the time quantum as 2 second so this is the round robin scheduling algorithm each process is getting context switch after 2 second the process having burst time less than time quantum is finished early like process p1 is completed now talking about the hrrn hrrn means highest response ratio next in this the response ratio of a process is equal to waiting time plus service time divided by service time so those process who's having highest response ratio will be allocated first So as you can see, this is the output of the completion time, turnaround time, and waiting time. And below, it's the Gantt chart. So this is all about the CPU scheduling algorithms GUI. Thank you very much from Team Sixty Two.